What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the world according to Briggs. My name is Briggs. I talk, I research, I travel, and I make videos. I watch old kung fu movies and occasionally sleep also. Speaking of sleeping, today we're talking about states that send the most residents to the land of the big sleep. That's right, today we're talking about states that lead the country in executions. The death penalty, or capital punishment, whatever you want to call it, is a government-sanctioned punishment for committing a crime. If someone is convicted and given a death penalty, that person will be executed or put to death as a punishment for that crime. Only people that are convicted of committing capital crimes, as they call it, get the death penalty. Crimes that fall into this category include murder, espionage, war crimes, crimes against humanity, genocide, wearing socks and flip-flops, and treason. The death penalty has been part of US history since before we were actually a country. In 1972, because of various lawsuits, the US Supreme Court suspended state-sponsored executions. There's a bunch more of information that goes into this, and I'm just giving you the basics. If this was an hour-long video, I'd get all into the court cases and all that other nonsense. We don't need to know that. But what you do need to know is in 1976, the Supreme Court reinstated the death penalty. As of 2020, the death penalty is legal in 25 states. A total of 22 states plus Washington, D.C. have abolished the death penalty, and three states have a governor-imposed moratorium. Those are California, Oregon, and Pennsylvania. We're going to look at the numbers from before and after the 1976 reinstatement, and we'll go back to when they became a state. All right, let's see what states are the most willing to send you to the afterlife. Number 10, South Carolina. Starting off our list is the Palmetto State, South Carolina, home of Myrtle Beach, Hilton Head, and Fort Sumpner, and 37 people that are currently sitting on death row. South Carolina hasn't been too busy pushing the off button on their residents, but they used to be. Between 1976 and 1778, when they became a state, they smoked 641 people. Since the reinstatement, South Carolina has executed 43 death row inmates. Number 9, North Carolina. After execution by lethal gas was eliminated by the state legislature in 1998, the wooden execution chair has been removed from the chamber at the Central Prison. The chair is now part of a collection at North Carolina's Museum of History and is occasionally displayed. You could take a selfie in it. Since 1976, they have executed 43 people. Prior to that, they said goodbye to 784, and that's between 1976 and 1789. Some of those were for stealing horses. Currently, they have 137 people on death row. Number eight, Ohio. Ohio comes in at number eight. Ohio has had some horrific crimes over the years, and it's landed some strange people on death row. Since 1976, they have sent 56 people to the great beyond, but they were never really big on the death penalty. From statehood in 1803 to 1976, they only had done 438. It's not a lot compared to some of the other states here. Currently, they have 140 people sitting on death row. Number seven, Alabama. Alabama has never really had a problem with getting rid of people they don't like. If we counted cities and towns that dispatched people at like the courthouse, the number prior to 1900 would be much higher than the 708 they currently have. But since 1976, they've ended 66 death row inmates and currently they have 177 sitting on death row. Now that number could change. As of now, these are the numbers. Number six, Georgia. Georgia and Alabama share a lot of history, both good and bad. Courthouse executions back in the day would be considered bad. Like Alabama, the number prior to 1976 should be higher, but they recorded state executions since 1788 as 950. And they're sitting on 75 since 1976. They have 49 people waiting for a date currently. Number five, Missouri. The Show Me State has pushed the off button on their fair share of inmates since 1976, but they weren't too big on it in the past. From 1821 to 1976, they only pulled the lever on 285 inmates. Since 1976, they've thrown the switch on 89. They picked up their pace a little bit. They only have 24 people waiting for a date on death row as we speak. Number four, Florida. Florida is the type of state you'd expect to be around this point of a list like this. They've had a lot of bad things happen in this state by some truly twisted people. Since 1976, they've dispatched 99 inmates. Prior to 1976, they whacked 345 inmates. Oddly enough, that's the same amount they have waiting for execution right now. One of those inmates they took care of in Florida happened on January 24th, 1989 at 7 a.m. Ted Bundy was the man in the hot seat that day, and upon the announcement of his death, the crowd that had gathered outside let off fireworks. I'm not even kidding. 
Number three, Virginia. Virginia is the first state to get us into the hundreds. And they also have an incredibly scary number of people they got rid of before 1976. 1,277. No joke there. They've gotten rid of 1,277 people. That was prior to 1976. Since 1976, they've gotten rid of another 113. But here's something strange, because it's inactive right now. They've kind of put a pause on it. They only have three people on death row currently. Number two, Oklahoma. The Sooner State comes in at number two. Now, this is a very interesting thing. They have a long history of Western culture. And prior to 1976, I'm sure they had a lot of other people put to death. But back then, and especially in a place like Oklahoma, the residents really took care of that a lot of the time. So the state probably didn't get many chances to get rid of the worst of the worst. Matter of fact, prior to 1976, they'd only executed 132 people. That's not a big number. But since 1976, they have gotten rid of 114 inmates and currently they have a death row population of 47. One guy that's no longer on Oklahoma's death row is Jeffrey Matthews. He was convicted of killing his 77 year old great uncle in 1994 so he could steal $500. Well, he was convicted and he was sentenced to death, but the governor had postponed his execution three different times. On the fourth time, he was in there getting ready to have lethal injection and his last words were, I think the governor's phones broke <laughs> and then he was gone. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. There is a link below. If you would, please check it out. Maybe subscribe. It's all up to you. All right, on to number one. And number one, Texas. The Lone Star State is really big on giving inmates a dirt nap. I mean, they do it a lot. It's almost like they're trying to outpace every other state combined. They have more executions since 1976 than number two on this list through six do combined. Yes, two through six, they beat all of them combined. And they got a lot of people on deck too. Currently, Texas has a death row population of 219. Now, they weren't always that big on it. And I think they have a lot of the same stuff that the South and Oklahoma has, where the locals really took care of the situation before the state had a chance to. Executions before 1976 were 755. So that's not a terrible lot, especially when you look at Virginia, who is just dropping people left and right. But since 1976, Texas, has sent 538 inmates to the great beyond. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Hope you know where not to commit some major crimes now. All right, everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.